Good evening everyone, well, hopefully uh, fourth time lucky with this video, um, I keep having to retake it because I just can't get my words out tonight, don't know why. I'm going to do a snuff review, and the snuff is Sam Gowith's Cobb Dark. Um, I had no idea really what this one was when I tried it, but uh, it surprised me actually with what it was. It doesn't sound like... The name doesn't make it sound like what it is. And what it really is, is it's incredibly uh, fragrant. Obviously, as you can see, they're very, very dark, hence the name, and quite coarse. And it's not, it's not as moist as a lot of the other Sam Gowis. So it's a bit different. But it smells, it's like a florally, fragrant, it's quite hard to place it exactly. Very pleasant. Um, it reminds me a little bit of a less pungent version of um, Otterhound, actually. It's got that sort of floral fragrance to it, so let's get a bit of this. Um, minimal burn really with that one not too much at all a lot less certainly a lot less fragrant that one in the nose than it is in the tin <clears throat> which is quite nice actually because I think it would be probably a bit overpowering if it was if it was the same strength mm. quite a reasonable uh, probably medium medium to high on the nicotine in that with it being very coarse it's easy easy to take not a problem there mm. really really pleasant a little bit of a gentle burn going on still which is quite nice Sort of just reminds you that it's in there, and you can still get a little bit of the fragrance as well while it's going. I've tried this a few times this week, um, and uh, it's nice, sort of, uh, on an evening just to relax with. Not particularly strong anymore in the nose, it's sort of uh, phased out, fades out pretty quickly, but nevertheless worth a try if you like your florals and your fragrance cob dark there's also cob light as well which i might look into trying uh, next year i've just um, made a small order of a few more to try so uh, hopefully that will be with me uh, around the new year and i'll be able to make a few more videos sorry for the um the editing quality is not great on these videos i'm uh i'm using windows live movie movie maker or whatever it's called because um uh, I've left my PC back at my flat, and uh, I'm just using my laptop at the moment. So I'm just I haven't got any um, any good editing software on here. If any of you guys use good free editing software, let me know. I'm currently using Sony Vegas something HD Platinum Pro 10 on my PC, which I found quite good, quite easy to add in sort of music and things to that. Um, and so the reason I haven't been adding much into these videos is mainly because. I'm just using Windows Live Movie Maker and I don't really know it very well. It's not a great program. It does the job, as you can see. I'm getting the videos up still, but not fantastic. So I've rambled on long enough. Another look at that. Sam Gowis, Cobb Dark. Nice brown, dark, dark brown. Snuff. Easy to take. Decent nicotine hit. So yeah, it's going well at the minute. I've got all my uh, rotation with me at the minute. Mostly Sam Gowis. But uh, these three at the minute, I'm, I'm quite enjoying. 
really enjoying my um, my plain snuffs at the minute. I've, I've put a few more in my order, so I'll review those. But if you haven't tried plain snuffs, I would really really give it a go. If you've only tried it once and you've not liked it, well, try it again. It's worth it. Maybe uh, I'd recommend starting off with the Viking Blonde because it's a nice, uh, gentle sort of, nothing too harsh about it. It's just uh, an easy to take, moist, nice snuff. So that's my Cobb Dark review. Um, thanks for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe to me if you're not. Hit me up with a comment if you want to ask anything. You know, whatever you want. So thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you have a good new year. Maybe I'll make a few more videos before the new year. So uh, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.